In this video, I will show you a smooth process for podcast editing. The process works for both solo and multi-person podcasts. By following my process, your podcast file will be ready in no time. Let me show you how. To do this challenge, I will do this exercise from Voices.com. I will share this link with you for conversation editing. It is a three-people podcast. Voices.com has some requirements on how it should be edited. I will show you some parts of the process and where to look to complete this exercise. Voices.com exercise has set a requirement of two minutes for the final audio. I have already downloaded the three files. If you have interview podcasts, you also get separate audio files for each speaker. For solo podcast, you will have only one file. I will take these files into Audacity. In Audacity, each file will have its own track. You have to do some audio processing on each track. If you have watched my videos before, you already know how to process a recording. If not, I will link a video in the description where I discuss the audio editing process in detail. For this video, I will use a time-saving process that I have developed. Just by looking at the waveform's height, we can understand the audio levels of each track are not at the same level. I will play some snippets from different tracks, and you will understand. Introduces viewers to Flowzone, highlighting the app's key features and leads them through the user experience. Situation. Absolutely. Uh, one, you should pay attention to that direction, especially from the client. But quite often... The volume level of the third track was higher, but the overall volume level was still much less than ideal. For each voice track, I will apply a macro. A macro has all the necessary audio processing needed for podcasts. I will apply the macro on each track separately. I will select a track and go to the Tools menu. From the Apply Macro menu, I will select Podcast Improve Macro. I have developed two macros for podcasts, Extreme Improve and Regular Improve. If the speaker talks too loud sometimes and too quiet sometimes, I use Extreme Improve. If the speaker talks at a consistent pace, I use Regular Improve. Here all three speakers talked in a consistent pace, so I would use Regular Improve. I will show you a bit later where you can get these macros. You can see the waveform increased in height after applying the macro. I will repeat the same process for the other two voice tracks. Applying the macro on each voice track separately keeps you away from mistakes. That's why I am using the same macro on each track separately. Each voice track is now at a consistent volume level. I have also made some improvements to the listening experience through macro processing. But all the tracks are still separate, we need a single file to upload it as a podcast. We can merge these tracks into a single track and then export. For the merging process, I have another macro. If you want to add a music track, you can do that and then merge the track. To get one track from the multiple tracks, you do not need to select a track like before. You can either select all tracks to merge or select none, it does not matter. The next macro will automatically select all the tracks and merge. Let me show you that. From Apply Macro, I will choose Finalize Podcast. This Finalize Macro not only merges the track, but also sets the proper peak level. All the tracks are merged into one, and we now have a consistent listening experience among different speakers. Zone to help viewers gain a glimpse into the multi-layered channels through which the app is experienced. So that gives you an idea of the product we're talking about. Uh, Kyle, why don't you talk a little bit about the artistic direction, the, the type of character, the type of read that we're looking for for this product? Definitely. Uh, so for this project, uh, there's, there's some specifics there that are going to paint the picture of, of who we're looking for and, and what type of voice uh, we're wanting. Uh, so for this project, um, it's going to be looking for a narrator who's a millennial. You don't want to sound like you're buying into all of this. You truly want to buy into it. The, the, the audience, the general public, their BS meters. It is ready to export and upload to a podcast hosting platform. You can go to export audio and export to your preferred file format. So where do you get these macros? You can get it from this Buy Me A Coffee page. I will put the link in the description. On the macro description page, I have a details video on how to install it. The installation video also shows how to use music tracks in podcasts. I also have a podcast editing course. If you want to learn the details on your own, you can also take this course. If you face any issues after purchase, you will get after sales service. If you are looking to save a huge amount of time in your podcast editing process, the macros will help. If you want to edit the macro to the two minutes requirement of Voices.com, you have to use the Sync Lock feature of Audacity. You can learn the Sync Lock feature in the podcast editing course in detail. 